hello friends welcome back to sql with manoj today i'll show you how to export a table or a query data from sql server to an excel file so i'll take you to ssms here we have a table that is employee and these are the contents of this table okay and uh, we have around 290 records in this particular table so today we'll see how to you know export this table from sql server to excel so I have uh, so right now I have this you know e drive and excel folder here and there is nothing in here so what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a new file and dumping the data okay so you have to just you know wherever this table is located in the database you have to go to the database and right click and select task and here you have to go to export data right so this exported option will open you the import and export wizard here just click on next so this particular window asks you what is the source of the table okay so choose a data source here you will have to select this and scroll down and choose sql server native client 11.0 okay here you have to choose the server name so my name is you can see here manoj pandel so this is my server name and database name is uh, you know pre-populated if it is not there then you have to select it from the list now click next and here it it asks you to choose a destination and our destination is an excel file so we will choose microsoft excel okay and it asks you which version so what i'll do is i'll choose the latest version that is microsoft excel 2007 although i'm having sql server uh, i think uh, 2015 installed on my pc but it shows me the 2007 so i'll choose it and i'll choose uh, first row has column names and it asked me what is the file path so I'll click on browse and take you to e drive and excel folder and here I'll create a new excel file and name it employee data okay and choose this and click on open right so I'm all set with the destination I'll click next so it, it asked me you know what kind of data you want to copy from one or more tables or views or a query so First of all, I'll show you how to, you know, select a table. So click next and I'll choose dbo.employ and in the destination, you can change the uh, employed. So I'll put employ, employ table. Okay, then click next and click next. Done immediately, fine. Click next and just click on finish. I think it's success and 290 rows transferred. Just close it and go to the folder and you will see a new Excel file created that we created before migrating the data and after migrating uh, if you open it it will show you you know the all the data populated so uh, it creates a new sheet so you will see you know uh, nothing is there because it is a sheet one you have to switch to the second sheet that is employee table so employee table if you remember then we chose this name i added this table name i add this table you know after this employee so this is my you know table dump of full 290 records okay so let us close this okay save now i'll show you how to you know view we uh, we just saw that you know we selected the table now if you have a query instead of this table so let's say if i have a query let's say top 100 records i just want to select top 100 records so what i'll do i'll copy this query okay and I'll use this query over here go to task and export data now click next here again I have to select my source that is my SQL server and database is already set click on next then my target that is Microsoft Excel and 2007 file path is uh, same file okay and we are not going to dump the data in the same sheet we'll create a new sheet I'll show you here write a query to specify the data to transfer okay then click next and I'll do is I'll paste this over here and I'll click on parse it says the SQL statement is valid I'll click next and here it sh shows me you know query so what I'll do is I'll put here query employ employ query top 100 okay so the new Excel sheet will be created this particular name and all 100 records will go into that okay I'll click next again okay, next next and finish I close it and move to the folder 
where the Excel file is kept. Now click on open. Okay, and if you check this, a third sheet is created that is employee query top 100. And if you see here, only 100 records got copied, right? So this is how you can export a table or a query data from SQL Server SSMS to an Excel file. Thank you for watching this video. In my next video, I'll talk about something similar. So please stay tuned. Thank you.